If you spent any meaningful time on the internet trying to fix your posture or learn about posture, then it's very likely you've come across the idea or topic of the left AIC postural pattern. This pattern has completely revolutionized the way that many people interpret, view, and try to correct posture and movement limitations. And this has been a tremendous impact on my own career as well. Now, for those that aren't fully aware, the left AIC is a concept of a natural human asymmetrical posture that we're all initially biased towards for the most part. And it was was popularized by an organization called Postural Restoration Institute. The idea of a natural, predictable human asymmetrical posture is not a completely new concept. It was just really made popular in the last few decades by PRI for short. This pattern helps explain why so many humans appear to be right side dominant or shifted over to the right. So in this posture and pattern, we tend to have a higher right hip, a spine turned to the right, a lower right shoulder, and a head side bent to the left for just some of the few biomechanical things that we see. And so when you learn about this pattern initially, your mind is blown because it explains so many things of what we see within ourselves and other people that we may work with if we're practitioners. I know that I fell into this pattern and it really helped me fix my own pain and so many others out there. But as you evolve as a practitioner and as you start to question your own beliefs and challenge them as you should, there were some things that started to come up for me and others that I would talk to. Before I get into this, it's very important that I preface this by saying that I have nothing but the utmost amount of respect for PRI and there's no way I would be where I am today without them. However, I do think that it is important, as I mentioned, that we question and challenge our own beliefs. And as I started to work with more and more people, I started to realize that a lot of people didn't fit this traditional left AIC pattern. And I had taken a ton of PRI courses from the beginner to intermediate to advanced level. And consistently, what I was always told is that people need to get over to the left side better. Get over to the left, get over to the left, get over to the left. And it was always about that initially. And it seemed like to me and many other people that the PRI methodology really had a bunch of different explanations and different ways to fit people into the idea that they were still biased towards their right side, even though there would be a lot of assessment and testing outcomes that would give us the indication that they weren't that way. So to me, it was almost like there was this sort of mental gymnastics and rigidity of trying to shove someone into a box of this pattern when many people didn't fit it. And so now I'm at the point where I feel like it's important for me to speak on this. And again, let me say that the left AIC patterns is tremendously helpful and I think everyone needs to know about it, but not everyone is in this pattern. And I think that leads to a lot of issues and misdiagnosis and mistreatments of a ton of people all around the world who practice PRI. I cannot tell you how many people have come into my gym and they have been formally with a PRI practitioner or instructor and they were told that they were in this left AIC pattern. But what they feel within their own body is that they feel like, hey, I'm shifted onto my left side already. I feel like I'm too much in my left side, but they're, they're told by people who are trying to fit them into this box that they are in their right side, or there's some convoluted way of explaining that, no, you feel like you're in your, you're in your left, but really you're in your right. And it just leads to a lot of confusion and people end up not getting better or they feel worse. And this is something I see all the time. And unfortunately, that leads to a lot of low quality outcome. I found that people generally are pretty aware of what's happening within their body. And we really need to listen to our clients and patients and our own bodies as to what's going on. Almost every single time someone comes in and says that they feel like they're the opposite of the left AIC pattern or they, they don't fit it or they feel like they're too much on their left leg, they're right and they actually are on their left leg too much and they need to actually start going right initially. Now, ultimately the goal is for us to be able to effectively shift in and out of both sides or hemispheres of our body, effectively go over to the right side and own that stance, get out of the right side back into left stance and vice versa. I think PRI would even agree with that and I know that they would. And so the important thing for all of us is that we're trying to effectively get into both sides, but I find a lot of people are still so obsessed with the idea of getting people to the left that they overlook that a lot of people need to go right initially. I would honestly say that at least 40% of people that I have in my gym on day one, I need to get them back over to the right side in some way, shape or form before I even think about the left. So if you're a trainer or a physical therapist or just the average person trying to figure out your own stuff and you're noticing tests like pelvis rotation 
or shoulder abduction or cervical rotation are better going to the left, then in some way, shape or form, you are not a left AIC pattern traditionally as it's being taught. So it's important to consider that you may actually need to go to the right in some way. And I have a bunch of videos that talk about this in other content, but I have progressed from the idea and I've gotten away from the idea that the left AIC pattern is this thing that most people have and need to address immediately. A lot of times people suck at getting in both sides of their body and they need to start by creating a foundation of getting into their right side more effectively, getting grounded on their right foot more effectively, almost as if you're trying to get them back into a left AIC pattern before you address it. Or simply, they just need to get into their right side because they're already too far over on their left and there is no left AIC pattern. They just need to overall just get better at going to the right side. So there's a lot of different ways that this can manifest itself. So what I would challenge the people watching this video to do is just take a step back and look at what the person or yourself and their assessments are really telling you. If you have some segment or something that doesn't fully match the left AIC pattern, then chances are you aren't actually fully a left AIC pattern. And there are a bunch of deviations from that. And I can honestly tell you that after doing that, my results have been considerably better with people after just sort of dissociating from the idea of the left AIC pattern and really just treating the human that's right there in front of me. Now, do I think that people have a bias initially of being right side dominant in that pattern? Yes, of course. But do I think that most people are in that pattern? Absolutely not. So hopefully this has opened up some eyes and challenged some perspectives out there. I know that I'm constantly trying to get better and grow with this, and I don't have everything figured out myself, obviously. I'm just trying to figure out what is the best way that I can help the most amount of people. And what I've learned is it's to work with what the assessments are actually telling me and understand that people all the time can get shifted too much into their left side. And after I understood that, it really changed the game for me. If you wanna see some examples of people I've worked with that are in sort of a reverse pattern or don't fully fit the left AIC pattern, I'm gonna link a couple over here and in the description below.